everyone, welcome to another mermaid video. This was the second mermaid I did for the month of May and I hope you like it. For this drawing I asked for suggestions from my followers and one of them asked me to do a jellyfish mermaid. And since it was a concept I wanted to do for so long, I decided that I would do a jellyfish mermaid. Not only that, since I also wanted to try a witchy mermaid style, I thought that the jellyfish theme would be perfect for her. So I am glad to have mixed those styles together to get this one. If you watched my last video of my first drawing of a mermaid, you may remember that I screwed up in the coloring process. So this time I was making sure it wouldn't happen again. If you struggle a lot with color, I really suggest that you follow these steps I did, they really help a lot. So first of all, I limit my use of color. You can see here, I used only two colors, I used rose and cerulean blue. I probably should have used more. But using only two was really a good exercise for me too. Later I will tell you why I should use more color. But for now, about these two, I made color studies first on Photoshop. So I took a picture of the line art of the drawing and then on Photoshop I made some test colors to know how it would look like. So I would test first hand on a paper. It could go wrong like it did on the first mermaid. By mixing these colors I could also do some purples and explore more bluish or more pinkish purples. Making these mixes were really important to help the drawing to gain more contrast. I didn't study art, so I am not really familiar with the color wheel but I think it's really important if you struggle with painting and coloring to just have a quick look on Google what's the color wheel about and you will understand how it works better. For example, this mermaid, since I only used pink and blue, is composed mainly of cold colors and with only cold colors, your drawing will fade out a bit. So there's nothing that can grab the attention of the person who's looking to it, because all the colors look so alike. And if you want to grab the attention of the, the public or the person who is watching your piece, it's really important to have something that captivates the look or that captivates the eye immediately. So for this case, since I had a crystal on the middle and it was the first detail I wanted people to pay attention to, I studied the color wheel once more and looked what was the color on the opposite side of the blues and the pinks. And that color was orange. So, by painting the crystal orange, it's the first thing that people will see when they see this piece. Otherwise, if I painted the crystal pink or blue, 
people would even miss the crystal, probably. There was no contrast whatsoever, so it's really important if you want to grab the attention to one specific detail to use a contrasting color and to do that you need the color wheel. So if you're using a lot of oranges, paint that detail blue. If you're using a lot of blues, just paint the detail orange. And there are other colors as well. You just need to paint the opposite color that's on the color wheel. One problem I have with this drawing, and I should really do better in the future, is that I was afraid to darken the values. The picture is very bright, I think I should have more shadows on the painting, but next time I will be more careful. That's why I probably shouldn't use only two colors, I should use blacks or other colors to darken the places that should have become darker. I am also super happy to have tried a new technique in, water, in watercolor, that was the light effect. So I try to not shadow the place where the crystal was and then I added some yellows around and yellow reflexes and it really turned out good. So this is my second mermaid for Mermaid. I hope you guys enjoyed it and see you next time. Bye bye!